Hi everyone, Pete Kalemain here. I hope you're having an awesome day. So in today's video, I'm very happy to introduce you to our walkthrough project, the wearable design project. Now the goal of this project is to take you through in a couple of videos the complete design of a wearable electronic device. Now in this project I'm going to design a wearable heart rate sensor. You see a couple of options on the right hand side. They all look very sleek. Of course our aim here is not to design a housing for it but the electronics inside. So that will be the goal in this project. We'll have to be small size and we will need wireless data transfer for this now there's a couple of things involved here in wearable design and whether you are designing a wireless heart rate sensor or other types of sensors, this will always come back. So first of all, we have to look at low power consumption, very important thing in something that is wearable that has a battery inside. You don't want to have the battery drained in one day. It should be a connected device, of course, in a wearable design. We don't want to have any wires, so we need to get the data out wirelessly. There's always sensing involved in some way. You see things on the right hand side, smart glasses, smart gloves, smart socks even. Um, there's always sensing of some data on a body or in the environment that has to get out of that device. Also, you want to have this in a very small footprint. Now let me quickly show you an overview of the placeholders that we have so far. So this is my Altium top level design, let's say. These are still placeholders. So there's a placeholder for the sensing, there's a placeholder for the controller, placeholder for connectivity and a placeholder for power. And we will fully design this video per video. So there will be four steps in this walkthrough project. So let's first talk about low power consumption. Most important thing here is battery choice and it will also be determined by the size of course of your device. If you're making uh, an in-ear device then of course you need a very small battery. Maybe for our uh, wearable heart rate sensor we can go a bit larger. But the important thing is there is a certain capacity that is tied to the size of your battery. How are we going to optimize that? So we will be looking at power gating, uh, we're looking at types of connectivity to save in power consumption and also sleep modes for the sensors will be very important. So we'll look into that. Now maybe just a quick breeze on power gating. If you're not familiar with the concept, uh, this is a small explanation. So in the right hand picture you see uh, two options to power gate a block with either a header switch or a footer switch. Basically you will cut the power completely to a certain block. In the lower level then you see how this would look like, uh, the always on domain that would be, would, would be your microcontroller, the power switch cell that could for instance be your sensor or could be your connectivity device. So we're, going, we're only going to use power uh, in a certain block when we need it. That's the idea behind power gating, we'll show it in much more detail in the video on that. Types of connectivity are of course important as well. So maybe let's have a look there. There is basically two trade-offs to have in mind. First of all, what range do you need for your connectivity and what data reads do you need? And this has to match the needs of your application. For our wireless heart rate sensor, there's no need to have 10 kilometers of range. So we are not going to look at cellular, rather it will be connected to a smartphone. So we'll be looking at Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, see what the trade-offs are there. Of course, higher data rates, that means also higher power consumption. So again there, we will have to optimize the trade-off between trying to have as much data as possible exposed over Bluetooth, but on the other hand, not to consume too much power. Also, an important thing I always look at in this phase when we are choosing connectivity modules is to use pre-certified modules. So that's also something that we're going to look into. And an interesting one is if you're combining, let's say, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, they are on the same frequency using RF switches to, to share the same antenna will enable you to have a small footprint device. Now sensing in our um, wireless heart rate monitor will have of course the need for a sensor to be able to sense in some way um, the heartbeat. We'll do that using photoplethysmography. Um, now important here are sleep modes when we are not measuring heart rates. Uh, the this, this system has to be in a very low power consumption mode. We'll need to wake it up when needed, but for the time that the system is not active, of course, we don't want to be drawing any current. Power gating might be involved here as well. And then edge processing, it would be ideal that the sensor just gives us, gives us a heart rate rather than raw data that we need to process. So again, that is very important stuff that we will be looking into in our first video when we're going to choose the sensing components. 
small footprint. So of course, if you're making a wearable design, ideally you will have a small footprint for that design as well. And the housing will be our constraint. Basically, there's two options. You can use an off-the-shelf housing or you can use a custom housing that is designed. For instance, there's a nice example here um, in the pictures below. The question is, uh, how far can you go in this sizing? If the housing is really small, we'll have to go step towards flex or rigid flex PCBs, which will increase the complexity a bit. So it is very dependent on the housing you want to use. Now our program. So this is a very quick introduction on wearable design. What are we going to do in this walkthrough project? First of all, we're going to uh, choose the sensing components. It's a wireless heart rate sensor. So we're looking at what types of sensors that we can use. We'll think about power consum consumption already in that phase. Second thing is then connectivity and control. Again, taking power consumption in mind. What is the mode where there is the lowest power consumption but still enabling us to send sufficient data to the cloud or to a smartphone uh, and how are we going to control that then the third video will be about the power supply the design of that system so there will be a battery integrated in the system we'll need charging we'll have to use these power gating modes that will be in the third video and then the fourth video is about small form factor layout so we're going to design it as small as possible see what the options are there so again, very happy, very excited to introduce this walkthrough project to you. Looking forward to doing this together. Let's dive into it.